ரோட்னி ஜெனரல் செக்ரட்டரி குளோபல் சொசைட்டி ஆஃப் ஹெச்எஸ்சி ப்ரொஃபஷனல்ஸ் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு வெல்கம் ஹெட் ஆஃப் த டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் மிஸ்டர் ஆர் சாக்ரிட்டி சார் அண்ட் அவர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஸ்டாஃப் டாக்டர் கே மாரிபன் சார் மிஸ்டர் சி எஸ் மஞ்சுளா மேம் அண்ட் டாக்டர் ஸ்ரீரங்கநாத்மன் வெல்கம் Finally, I would like to thank you for give, giving me this great opportunity. Once again, I welcome you all. Thank you, Pavitra, for your cordial welcome. Felicitation is an inspiration to others, motivation to whom you are facilitating. In that note, I would like to call upon our Honorable Principal, Dr. Enna Samsi Maheshwari, for presenting and felicitation address. ஆக்டிவிட்டிஸ் the head of the department of commerce and the dedicated faculty members of commerce department and the students friends very good evening to all first of all i congratulate the organizers of this webinar for arranging the webinar on analysis and impact of union budget in short budgeting is very important because it helps you control your spending track your expenses and save more money additionally budgeting can help you make better financial decision prepare for emergencies and stay focused on your long term financial goals it, it is extremely important for the government to allocate resources for various factors such as uplifting under privileged sections of society and facilitating financial inclusion and upgrading defense capabilities providing proper educational facilities and much more need to be focused on therefore a well planned budget is of utmost importance for any government to ensure economic stability and growth of business and trade so i hope this webinar will provide a good platform to discuss and analyze the union budget 2021 engage with this seminar i wish this webinar grand success thank you thank you ma'am for your amiable address aditi devo baba me for guest squad We Indians are known for our hospitality across the globe. It is a part of our code of conduct for Indian culture. So now I would like to welcome Ms. Deepika, third year BCom PA, to deliver Chief Guest introduction. Very good evening to all of you. It is a glorious day. This is a wonderful occasion and I am so impressed with the skilled professional and humbled to take the opportunity to introduce the Chief Guest of the day. Dr. Dr. Swami Ramanathan, MCOM, MBA, MPhil, PhD, Professor and Internationally Aggregated Trainer, CEO, Spectrum Skills Yard, City Academy and Legend Outbound Training Solutions, Vice President, Road League, Kawaiyamthun City, General Secretary, Global Society of HSC Professionals. Dr. Dr. Swami Ramanathan has 5 years of industrial experience with Sipra Limited, Mumbai and 18 years of people experience with Kavaraja College, Madurai and leading business schools in Kwayam Dhoor, India. 
He has received a gold medal for his academic excellence in his master degree from Ayanaga Janaki Amal College, Madurai Kamaraj University. He is an member of Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad. Dr. Swami has published 14 textbooks including intellectual property rights and capital management. He research articles in various referred national and international journals with impact factors and also presented content research purpose in various conferences. He has organized 12 management development programs, 26 faculty development programs. Yeah, one minute, Deepika, one minute. Deepika, one minute. I request all the people uh, to switch off your uh, microphone. You can mute, you can mute. I request all the people except the uh, speaker, Deepika. All the people, you can put your uh, mic on mute, please. Thank you. Uh, Deepika, you can continue, Deepika, please. Dr. Swami has also produced 12 PhD scholars and six MPhil scholars. He is serving as editor in five international journals and also reviewer for 13 journals related to industrial safety, IPR and risk management. He is a board of studies member and governing council members in various autonomous colleges and university in India. He has widely traveled to many countries including Singapore, Malaysia, Dubai and Kuwait. He is a cricket all-rounder and represented Madurai Kamaraj University cricket team twice and also played in inter-university cricket tournament twice during his college days. He is successfully running cricket coaching academy, Kapil Cricket Academy, and two cricket teams, Kapil Cricket CC and City Academy CC Quiet Tour. Professor Swami also served as Chair Long Range Plan and also Executive Council Member in ASSE, India Chapter. He is an artist and making his artwork with politician cartoons, paintings, rangoli and wall designs. He has organized five painting exhibitions with his painting or artwork. He is writing successfully in a wide range of literary genres including poems, short stories and novels in Tamil. Tree plantation is a major project undertaken by him and has the practice of planting 1000 trees every year and also maintaining them for the past 10 years. He has organized four signature rallies to create awareness about HIV and tuberculosis. Save the environment, save his girl child and road safety. He was awarded with the following awards. Prince Award by Youth Welfare Department 1996. Best Social Worker Award 2013. Best Security Award by Rotary District 3201 2017. Man of Social Work Award by IDA Asia 2017. And Man of Charity Award from United Nations Global Academy of Peace UK 2019. Thank you all. Thank you, Deepika, for your convivial introduction. A guest in a house is always a good sign of fortune in the near future. So I welcome our most distinguished chief guest of the day, Dr. Karupa Samit Namanathan, to convey his address. Yeah, good evening uh, to one and all present here. First of all, my sincere thanks to uh, the principal man, Santi Makeshwari who is known for uh, her dynamism and excellent decision making. And she has uh, given an outline uh, where to start my uh, session too. And the second uh, person I should mention here about uh, the Professor Socrates, a person who always uh, do some innovative uh, initiativeness. He's an excellent artist. Okay, he is able to uh, do a painting, pencil sketching, uh, cartoons, rangoli, a uh, beautiful rangoli, and apart from that, is a person uh, sincere and dedicated. That's the inspiration uh, I used to uh, inspire from him. And once, uh, once I received uh, the uh, intimation from him, uh, uh, invitation in the form of invitation, I immediately said uh, because of him, because I used to inspire plenty of things from him. Thank you, uh, Socrates, sir, uh, for inviting me uh, for this August mist. And uh, uh, the faculty team always they used to do uh, uh, you know excellent teamwork. I think this is one kind of uh, best example where they're able to show their uh, teamwork. You know the way in which they did the follow up, the way in which they prepare the invitation. Uh, wonderful. Okay, it's excellent teamwork. And I should mention about the young speakers here, uh, the two people, Deepika. Uh, okay, you have made a, you have wonderful voice, so uh, you don't have any fear. 
try to uh, get such type of opportunities from your faculty and uh, uh, your uh, communication skill and you can come up like anything yeah the first of all a warm welcome to all the uh, participants so we are going to spend another 50 minutes about the union budget so before uh, starting that i want to make some outline about what it, what happened uh, during last few decades so you must know uh, about that are you ready any one person okay just a, a response for my speech my audio clarity is yes, okay sir. with you just yes, yes, okay. okay okay yes, sir, very clear okay yes, thank you let me make a, a small uh, a presentation i made a ppt i think you will like it I hope everyone able to see my screen. No, sir. Screen, tell me that. Just a minute. to see my screen now is there yes sir yes sir yeah thank you okay. uh, before going to the topic you must know some uh, uh, you know the footprints of india's growth i think uh, uh, you will be knowing it from the year 1947 okay we had a very good uh, uh, story we had very good leaders also in the year 1947 after uh, getting the freedom you know most of the people uh, they had a fear in their mind how uh, indians are going to lead the country because earlier uh, we were in the hands of the british people so those were uh, 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 taken maximum advantages with the help of our resources so first in kind uh, jawaharlal nehru uh, took the chair of uh, prime minister and you will be knowing it the five year uh, five year plans were introduced a uh, later important was uh, 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 given mainly for agriculture earlier because uh, almost 90 percent of the people uh, uh, employed with agricultural operations. At the second stage, country started focusing on certain industries, particularly uh, leather leather industry. There are certain institute started by the government, uh, Institute of uh, Leather Technology, and later you'll be knowing that 70s, 80s uh, they given importance for the small scale industries. even how uh, uh, the uh, how many industries are in coimbatore most of the industries started after the 70s 80s you know coimbatore is known for uh, textiles will be knowing it coimbatore is known for automobiles now coimbatore now uh, they are uh, manufacturing wet grinders motor pumps they are exporting to all the countries and now uh, the uh, new generation uh, uh, entrepreneurs are also coming up particularly it it related services so that this was happened uh, with the help of the government support when jawaharlal nehru was uh, prime minister that time 20 entrepreneurs they were selected they were sent to uk for an uh, expo textile expo where they went there most of the people went for purchasing raw cotton one person alone purchased the machinery textile machinery semi automated uh, textile machinery and only because of that one coimbatore has become south india's manchester now you take any car it may be audi bmw maruti hyundai in a many car jaguar mercedes benz almost almost 30% of the components automobile components they are manufactured in coimbatore likewise you take tripur that has given a marvelous growth because of the government's manufacturing that's also a, a lot of initiatives clusters we used to say clusters during kamarajat period lot of industrial estate, estates were started tolir patents over you can see 
while you are crossing Kapalur, while you are coming from Coimbatore, uh, just pray to the Tirumangalam, you will find one industrial estate. Now it has become uh, automobile showrooms there. Such type of industrial estates were started. So that has given a lot of employment opportunities and that other thing. And if you look into uh, the other areas where the government has given a lot of large scale industries were started. When you take uh, regions like uh, Virunagar districts, uh, matches manufacturing, Pyrox printing, printing technology, but that has started in Rajapalayam and other areas, uh, textile mills again, just an impact of the Coimbatore region, okay, Rajapalayam. So that started uh, doing a lot of uh, uh, innovative uh, things. First started with the labor intensive, later they simply move on to the uh, techno friendly environment. And during 80s, even, even, even I can mention, uh, you can uh, take the number of industries started uh, by the former uh, 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 former uh, the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Kamarajar. It's a golden period because where we had, he has constructed most of the dams, most of the you know, irrigation facilities, we used to say. And apart from that, industrial clusters and uh, large scale industries, I mean, like Naval Lignite Corporation, you can take BHL, BHL, Bharat Heavy Electricals uh, Limited. Likewise, sale, Steel Authority of India, uh, plant at Salem. So many industries were started. That's why the I mean, education system, it's a huge volume of uh, uh, efforts was taken during that time because of that, the government schools uh, uh, and higher education institutions, many aided uh, uh, concept of schools have come out. That's why Tamil Nadu is still uh, number one in terms of education and overall productivity of the country. There are two states which are contributing uh, major, uh, I mean, which is said to be a manufacturing states, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu, which are contributing uh, maximum to the growth of uh, India. This is mainly because of the efforts taken by the people. When you look into the 80s and 90s, there was a problem. You know, there was a political instability. The government uh, uh, was not in a position to run the show. I think a lot of crises, whereas at that time Congress was there, Janata Dal again came to the power, again Congress, that time Prime Minister Narasimha Rao was there. So uh, he, when he was a Prime Minister at that time, the, it's the toughest time for India. So that time India went for a reforms. I think you might have studied it with your uh, teachers, with the help of your teachers. New industrial policy, new industrial policy in uh, 1991, you know, liberalization, privatization, globalization. There was a three Tarak Mandira taken by our uh, uh, government. That time Manmohan Singh was the uh, prime brain behind it to prepare that new industrial policy. He was not uh, a politician that time. He was a professor like us. He was serving in a university. And uh, Narasimha invited him to make such type of wonderful efforts. Only because of that, India has become a balanced country where new entrepreneurs have come up, even particularly uh, IT industry. Okay, you can take now uh, TCS, Tata Consultancy Services, Infosys, uh, doing well, HCL, uh, you take Wipro. There are many uh, new generation entrepreneurs like Vijay Malaya, okay, uh, Kingfisher Airlines, uh, Satyam Computers, Warner, uh, uh, Raju. Uh, all the people have come out with a lot of uh, innovative flying colors. That has given a good shape for Indian economy. Indian India has become a super power. Okay, India has become super super power because of the IT uh, uh, revolution. And uh, because of liberalization, there are certain things has happened. Meanwhile, the government has, uh, you know, taken a lot of efforts to uh, develop many things. Say, for example, I can tell you, uh, still Bangalore is number one in IT uh, because of very simple reason. That time, uh, the former uh, Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. So he has, uh, he has uh, Nakrishna. Okay, there was the, he was the Congress. Uh, Chief Minister, he has prepared a one plan, Bangalore Development Authority, Bangalore Development Authority, BDA. So where, you know, any company coming from abroad to start a company in Bangalore, you know, they'll get a permission within 14 days, only 14 days. The government will provide a land, I mean, a place, uh, all connection, permissions, local clearance, everything will be completed within 14 days. Any company coming from, suppose one company is coming from America to start a business in India at Bangalore. It will take only two weeks time. They can start their operations. So that type of facility is created. So all those things were uh, happened. And uh, as I already told you, during the uh, 50s to 90s, lot of public sector undertakings uh, 
strengthened. You take Indian Railway, Postal Department, you take Public Transportation System. Each and every state government is owning a, a public transportation uh, uh, system. And uh, uh, there are many other uh, things also. Even you look at the warehousing facility, uh, where to store uh, goods and commodities, industrial uh, clusters, as I already told you, industrial clusters and the other thing. Okay. Now, the biggest challenge for country in preparing the budget, it's very simple. How much income you're going to earn, how much expenditure you're going to spend. So, you're going to find the relation between these two. So, your budgeting process will help you to identify from where you're going to earn your income and where you're going to spend. The proposed income and proposed expenditure. So, these, uh, these particular exercise the government is doing every year. I think we'll be knowing it. So, every year the government is doing it. It's purely based on the last year uh, uh, statistics, how much income the government has earned. Say, for example, if we take 2021-22, while they are planning 2021-22, uh, they'll take the uh, last 5 to 10 years statistics too. How much the government has earned, all those things. But there are a lot of challenges also government is facing. It. Apart from budgeting, there are a lot of challenges for the uh, country. You take India right now. Okay, uh, China is trying to dominate the Asian region, not only Asian region, but also in the entire world. You'll be knowing best example, you can take it COVID-19, whether it is a man-made disaster or natural disaster, we don't know. But China is playing a crucial role in the entire world economy. China is number one in terms of attracting foreign direct investment. Lot of things are there. So people are saying that there is a tough competition between India and China. But I can tell you a very simple thing. You just just list down the uh, goods which are imported from China. Okay, it's okay okay for uh, audience to speak in English alone, or you want to have a bilingual Tamil and English. English, sir. Okay, good. See, when uh, China, you take China, almost all the goods what we are using it, all are imported from China. You take where the mobile phone, the laptop. Electronic gadgets, your household equipments, all the things are imported from China. You just uh, take a list, how many goods we are uh, sending it from India to China. So that's very minimal. Suppose we may be, uh, we may be importing uh, 100 goods from China, but we are exporting only 2 or 3 goods to uh, China. This is a pathetic situation. We used to say the trade balance, trade balance, the relation between export and import, that's a mismatch. See, now China started dominating in Pakistan. They made a, a, a six-way roads right from uh, Beijing to uh, Rawalpindi, okay, Karagwe Express. So they made a road. Uh, they they have laid down the road within Pakistan itself just to have a connectivity with Pakistan. What happening in Myanmar? I think you will be knowing old Burma, okay. Uh, you know uh, the uh, again uh, the political crisis there created by Chinese people. And look into uh, Sri Lanka. Earlier Sri Lanka, uh, we had very good relations with Sri Lanka, but now you can see uh, China. Almost all uh, harbors and other thing it was taken by uh, China on a contractual basis. They take it on a lease basis, say for like 50 years, 99 years, all harbors and other thing, uh, particularly port, they have taken it. So they are going for a massive infrastructure development and other thing. So because of that, Chennai, uh, Chennai and Cochin uh, 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 port uh, may be affected. So likewise, they are creating a lot of uh, economic sensitivity too. People used to say it's like a PL sign. You take just imagine Indian map, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and Myanmar. So just like a chain, okay, it's, it's called PL chain. So this is also PL chain effect. So that's also creating it. These are other challenges we have. But if you look into India, the biggest challenge again is political sensitivity. I'm not going to speak about the politics here, just I'm saying it. Political sensitivity. Any person coming to India to make an investment. Nowadays, the foreign direct investment also declining. Okay. See, uh, so the political sensitivity, that's a regional party. If you take years, only two parties will be there. Ruling party and the opposite party. Okay. So, it will be uh, vice versa. They will be uh, coming to the ruling. But here you take it. Number of political parties are uh, hundreds and hundreds of parties. Every day, new parties are registered in India. So, it is not giving healthy symptoms. It's not giving a, a healthy symptom for it. And political sensitivity, that's a bigger challenge for it. And India, the population is increasing. The bigger challenge for India, the population is increasing every year. Because, you know, the infrastructure problem will be there. 
yeah, people like Kobe were in Kobe, but you were enjoying uh, uh, like anything. But we are at Coimbatore. You know, every day the traffic density is increasing. To start from my home to reach my college, earlier I used to reach within 25 minutes. Now it took almost one one hour and 15 minutes because of traffic, heavy traffic, pollution level, trees are cut down, and drinking water. I mean, good quality water facility is lacking. and people are not getting uh, you know uh, you know the sufficient uh, uh, i mean the poor time management uh, stress level everything is increasing these are all the changes challenges and one more big challenge for india health issues health issues you know indians are uh, known for obesity gundar gud obesity then we used to say lifestyle disorders particularly heart problems they have they are facing lot of heart, heart related problems and the sugar okay the diabetic uh, uh, problems these are the even asthma uh, i mean breath related issues the pulmonary disease as we used to say these are all the thing is is chronic in nature chronic is nothing but long term in nature if you if you are taking medicine you have to take for your entire lifetime if a, if a person is getting a bp blood pressure he, he or she has to take uh, medicines for entire life likewise even diabetic okay they have to take the medicine for these are the other challenges the government is facing it and i think i think by considering all those things india is having a excellent uh, uh, talent pool people like you people like young people coming with a lot of uh, thing that's why still it is vibrant so even tcs if you take tcs earlier uh, we were taking the projects only from esa america now pcs uh, infosys all the people started moving the other directions to japan korea and other areas because of that we are able to get three times four times more business than what we get earlier so these are the uh, thing uh, these are the uh, 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 we have a lot of advantages young youngsters our education system is more powerful now you take it even people are talking about artificial intelligence uh, data analytics uh, machine learning okay almost all the university they drop the course in that people are talking about the professional examination like ca uh, cma acs now many uh, people are passing it and people are talking about the public sector uh, undertaking employment like ssc uh, atnpsc many people are competing and doing with that so we have excellent uh, resources and one major advantage is we have excellent resources i can tell you a uh, countries like and the india is having unique in climates we take canada 6 months you cannot come out from the house snowfall will be there but india will find the living condition throughout the 365 days you look into that we have western ghats which will protect from all natural uh, calamities okay we have thousands and thousands of uh, species in that india is having a lot of rivers mountains favorable climate agricultural cultivation land talented people you name anything you name iron ore coal all natural resources are available okay and we have a drinking water facilities good rivers we have and we have a sufficient uh, uh, in a sea so we have natural harbors everything we have but only thing is india is very rich india is very rich in terms of natural resources but still indians are poor this is the mismatching even a poor is becoming uh, poor and rich is uh, becoming richer now so poor is becoming uh, poor uh, poor poor people is becoming very poor in india uh, rich people are becoming richer in india so only problem biggest problem for the ruling government is how they are going to take care of this particular gap the gap between rich and poor so uh, all government uh, the indian budgets are prepared uh, uh, just to uh, fill the gaps between these two so they want to reduce the gap between rich and poor okay so my uh, communication is okay for you audience any one any one student uh, please you can reply uh, my voice is okay na solradhu ungala correct ah puriyuda it's coming uh, reaching enoda point clear ah yes sir clear okay thank yes, you yes sir clear what's your name dexa sir okay see uh, if you look into the entire budget because you know most of people you might have seen in the tv and the other thing i'm going to give a gist of the budget okay the union budget if you take it it's uh, divided into six segments you can take it uh, six uh, six uh, different segments okay as you know the covid 19 okay covid 19 that has given a big spread not only for india but also for the entire world even us is struggling maharashtra will be knowing it again 9000 cases 
yesterday. And uh, uh, central government has sent uh, a separate team to Tamil Nadu also to make an investigation because the number of cases are increasing. So the Prom state, uh, as per the uh, state, as per the central government, they have uh, notified Maharashtra, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, and other states where the cases are increasing. So COVID-19 has given you know much more importance for the government. You know, it has given COVID-19 has urged the government to develop the health infrastructure, particularly hospital. Uh, Testing equipment facility, uh, in house betting, number of uh, uh, you know cases to be admitted in the hospitals, infrastructure, sufficient facilities, and uh, cleanliness, particularly cleanliness. So health and well-being. That's a first segment the government got the lot of thing in there. And physical and financial uh, capital infrastructure. This one you'll be knowing it. Every budget will have a separate focus mainly on uh, the financial uh, capital infrastructure. An inclusive development for uh, uh, aspirational India. This one, even Congress uh, government also, earlier uh, ruling party, also mainly focus on inclusive uh, growth. How we are going to serve for the poor? Okay, we should ensure the minimum minimum requirement food, uh, food uh, and uh, food and uh, food uh, dust material and also resident uh, place. These are all the common thing. Okay, even a single person should not let out. Even uh, when Bardia has mentioned about it. So everybody should be given with the food. So uh, again, uh, uh, focusing on the people, those who are living under the poverty line, that's the third segment. Again, uh, um, uh, the uh, human capital, again, you know, again, this is this is the richest part of uh, India. We have excellent talented pool. We take number of engineering colleges, number of arts and science colleges, and we have a lot of technical institutions too, like AIMs, IITs, so how uh, how okay we are going to uh, uh, utilize such type of human capital and the uh, again you know you take covid 19 you'll be knowing it a uh, lot of indian company they have uh, come out with the vaccine the vaccine they have invented uh, even uh, even uh, indian vaccine now today you'll be knowing it india has exported a huge number of uh, uh, covid 19 vaccination to west indies west indies in Brazil uh, depend on our uh, uh, supply chain to get uh, vaccination, I mean, get the uh, vaccines from India. So there are many uh, uh, chances of uh, doing a lot of research, particularly in pharmaceutical industry, inventing a new drug, uh, uh, you can take it uh, molecular uh, uh, invention, uh, existing molecular remodeling, all those things. You take it, uh, many companies, even GE, General Electric, they started their research and development center in uh, near to Pune. Uh, they used to say center of excellence. They had a, they had a seven centers uh, in different countries. Now they made a one exclusive uh, prime center in India because in, a, in they they used to hire Indian brains. So research and development, which is uh, which is said to be one of the powerful one for the country. You now with the help of that one, you can get a lot of patents, copyrights, and other things. We used to say intellectual property rights. So these are the possibilities where the country can do wonderful thing. And again minimum government and maximum governance this is again this is the one area where people are making a lot of uh, criticism too uh, even uh, uh, the public sector undertakings so uh, you know now the government is going for a privatization concept now uh, okay the lic uh, uh, and majority of the uh, public sector banks they're planning for uh, thing that and what happened to the other segments even railways and the railway lanes and other thing power distribution uh, uh, channel so all those things the uh, government is focusing on privatization. But earlier we had a concept to the public sector undertaking. Even railway, you take it railway is uh, very cheaper. Even common man can travel from, suppose you want to travel from Koil Pati to Chennai. You can make yourself a, a, a train, uh, you can travel. It will be less expensive too. Maybe uh, 300 rupees or 400 rupees you can travel. But the question people are talking about uh, when you make a privatization, because uh, we have witnessed one thing in Moti, it was around 300 to 500 rupees that to travel in Muti train from Metapalim to uh, uh, the uh, Kunur. But now it has become, uh, you know, most expensive. It has become now uh, 3,000 rupees to 5,000 rupees. How a common man can travel? This is a one segment. Uh, this is a one segment where uh, people are making a lot of even, uh, even uh, you take, uh, we have many uh, things in that, even general rise in the uh, price level, inflation level and other things. Really depend on. These are the six segments where the government has, uh, 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 you know, focused on the budget this year. These are the six pillars that is said to be. One side, one side, you look into that. Uh, the health focus uh, uh, expenses. 
which is increasing and uh, the other side as i already told you inflation rate inflation rate general rise in the price level i think what happening with the fuel uh, uh, rise in the fuel uh, prices rise gas cylinders and other thing so the budget it's the uh, budget should be made considering both general public as well as the government uh, perspectives so that's why uh, my presentation is all about uh, the entire uh, budget both in terms of uh, uh, ordinary man perspective as well as the government governance point of view let me go one by one it will take another uh, 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 20 minutes uh, to understand that health and well being see uh, as i already told you uh, india is having a huge population india is having a huge population okay you know the disease profile also increasing okay because of hygienic uh, poor hygienic uh, factors particularly urbanization all people from village they are moving to city so city has become you know little worst with the help of you know disposal of waste stages you know all water bodies are contaminated they are throwing all waste plastics and everything water body lakes rivers streams and everything so oh, highly uh, the high level of pollution in the cities that's also creating lot of health issues and apart from that covid 19 like by i already told you diabetic cardiovascular asthmatic patients lot of many people are having it so 2000 sorry 2 lakh 23846 crore outlay for health and will be it was uh, made in the year 2021 22 whereas it was earlier it was 94 alone so almost almost double the thing the government has uh, made it uh, you know the, uh, the government has made it 137 percent days in that there is a need for it main focus is to prevent it as i already told you the covid 19 the vaccination uh, and anyway, i have uh, statistics for it and preventive okay preventive people used to say you have to be very precautionary even i can recommend to all the people those who are listening to me you must wear a mask please remember uh, you may have the uh, intention that in a covid uh, in a corona in enna panni irupodu enna enna pannom so please don't have the lethargic thing in that because the second wave of uh, uh, the second wave of corona is going to have something uh, 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 you know uh, more dangerous because that that particular um, corona virus also develops some vulnerability நீங்க மெடிசின் கொடுத்தீங்கன்னா அது சாப்பிட்டுன்னா அதே என்ன செய்யுது கொஞ்சம் மாத்திக்குது ஓகே இட் ஹஸ் பிகம் இட் ஹஸ் பிகம் மோர் யூனோ மோர் வல்னரபிள் டு தி மெடிசின்ஸ் அண்ட் தி தர்ட் சோ யூ மஸ்ட் பி வெரி கேர்ஃபுல் யூ மஸ்ட் வியர் அ மாஸ்க் அண்ட் யூ மஸ்ட் எஜுகேட் யுவர் பேரண்ட்ஸ் ரிலேட்டிவ்ஸ் ஆல்சோ டு வியர் அ மாஸ்க் இங்க பாத்தீங்கன்னா N95 சொல்லுவோம் தட்ஸ் அ மாஸ்க் வேர் யூ நோ யூ டோன்ட் கோ ஃபார் அ கிளாத் மாஸ்க் கிளாத் மாஸ்க் வந்து ஈவன் இட் நாட் ஃபில்டர் வித் டஸ்ட் so you must wear a n95 mask which may be uh, 20 rupees or 30 rupees you can use it for uh, uh, 20 days a month so on the n95 uh, mask are possible you must do that and sanitizer you must carry a small bottle of sanitizer you must carry in your uh, college bag whenever whenever you uh, chilling like enter inside your class you must put a sanitizer whenever you go for restrooms and other thing you must use a sanitizer and uh, you must have uh, you must have the habit of washing your hands with soap at least for uh, 20 to 30 seconds you would wash your hands so these are the thing will give you a preventive thing in that and curative once a person is infected curative uh, they used to say preventive medicine vaccination is a preventive medicine whereas curative medicine uh, okay the pills what you are taking medicines and other thing what you are taking that's known as curative and also well being okay taking care of your health maintaining your health check and other thing so this is in uh, uh, the first fundamental pillar the government has given to that as already told you the vaccinations 35000 crore for the covid 19 vaccine so this one you have to uh, countries like india maharashtra now it's early now again the second wave has started and kerala okay kerala most of the people are affordable in nature uh, so they are able to uh, manage with that and again uh, 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 the another one uh, uh, nimanokokal nimanokokai uh, nimonococci that's a virus name nimonococcal uh, uh, vaccine that's also because every year uh, 50000 children they used to light uh, lose their life because of uh, nimonococcal uh, virus so they, they they want so again nimonococcal vaccine also there is given to the uh, it's particularly on five state the government has focus on that and health systems um, uh, then atma nirbhar swast bharat yojana a newly uh, centrally sponsored scheme to be launched in addition to the uh, national health mission 
there is an additional one where uh, you know this will be for uh, uh, six years, almost ten thousand crore uh, uh, every year. So sixty-four thousand hundred and eighty crore, and again uh, uh, the National Institution for One Health. So this also uh, they are planning to establish with that, and seventeen thousand seven hundred eighty-eight rural and eleven thousand twenty-four urban health and wellness centers. I think the Tamil Nadu government made a mini clinic. A lot of uh, the humor part and uh, some serious part also, but central government is focusing on uh, the uh, rural and uh, health centers because the population is increasing. Uh, so automatically, appointment of more doctors creating a hospital atmosphere and other thing. And four regional national institute for uh, virology. So new viruses are coming. So uh, even um, uh, you'll be knowing it uh, for every qualification there is a set of doctors are available. Okay, if you look into that skin-related doctors, they used to say dermatologists. Okay, and person who is looking to the heart-related, we used to say cardiologists. Okay, and the person who is looking to the bone and other related, okay, we used to say orthopedic. If they're doing a surgery, orthopedic surgeon. Okay, and the person who is uh, uh, looking after your uh, uh, nervous systems and other thing, neurology. Okay, a person who is giving a treatment for your eye. is known as ophthalmology okay so like there are a lot of thing even ungloda uh, havial uh, surapin uh, solo endocrines okay if a doctor who is uh, doing an investigation about your endocrines endocrinologist so likewise the another segment uh, a major focus is given for virology okay how virus is replicating and uh, earlier the hiv is said to be one of the dangerous disease in india now people that's also having a spread But we are able to uh, go with the by creating an awareness. And COVID-19 also one of the best example where it's beyond uh, science and technology. You cannot have a control over it. So virology. Uh, so four regional uh, national institute also started. That's also an establishment. Uh, okay, which should they should government should come forward to start it. It should not be like uh, aims at Madurai. So it should not be in a paper alone. Government should take any step to look into that. And even then set up. operation centers in uh, 15 uh, different places and two mobile hospitals so this is also uh, as per their plan uh, i think these are all the thing related to the health system again the critical care hospitals uh, a block in 66 and 600 in uh, two districts the only thing is how they are going to maintain it that's also because the gh and the other thing you know on the maintaining the atmosphere the hygienic conditions even if you visit any gh you will come to know that the quality where we struggle so the government should focus on such type of thing it's not a matter of constructing a building it's not matter of appointing a doctor but how the patients are uh, served how the hygienic condition is how the waste are disposed all those things they would look into the maintenance part they would look into that again uh, the national uh, center for disease control nd ncdc i think this is the prime body which will be looking to the spread like uh, covid 19 so that that's also then the 17 new public health Units and centering the six of the existing public health units. That's a big hospitals are there. When you take Madurai for you, I think it's Koyi Pete Madurai Rajaji Hospital is one of the biggest hospital, uh, particularly in southern part. So there are a lot of uh, focus will be given in there. So this is all the thing. Okay, they have made it and bio safety level uh, three laboratories also just to investigate about the uh, bio bio medicine uh, bio medical equipment and other thing. Okay, and nutrition is an another uh, focus. Nutrition is another focus. Yeah, mission uh, uh, portion, two point four. So this is again uh, another uh, 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 scheme that was launched uh, uh, in this budget. The main objective is to strengthen the uh, nutritional content. Okay, how we are uh, getting, uh, how we are getting our uh, nutritional uh, uh, food and other thing. Particularly, you look at the now recent past. I think we might have studied uh, more than. Uh, Uh, more than uh, 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 15 lakh children, they are like in uh, getting a you uh, know balanced nutritional uh, diet every day, and content delivery, outreach, and outcome. So these are the few focus in there. And again, identified even uh, I think we'll be knowing it by considering all those things. Even uh, India, Tamil Nadu is the pioneer state to provide uh, 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 meal with education, just to attract the people to the school, because most of the parents they put their word. the engage in working in agricultural operation and other thing that's also uh, found by uh, our uh, farmer uh, chief minister kamraj he is the pioneer in providing uh, midday meals later it was converted uh, uh, by mgr as a satnavutitta 
so this was the, this was uh, this was mainly to support the people those who are uh, not having a uh, three times food at least they love uh, mid day meal they'll come to the school and do that so the portion uh, providing egg and other things that's also added so uh, intensified strategy to be adopted to improve the nutritional outcomes across 122 aspirational districts wherever the people uh, the young children need nutritional thing the government will give a focus on that uh, this is again a biggest thing uh, for your information for your information it's a red alert for everyone please india is going to face the biggest problem of water scarcity within 15 years within 15 years india is going to have a biggest uh, uh, thing uh, water scarcity luckily we had a rain for this year you'll be knowing in koilpatti sivagasi saftur and other thing during a summer so how much pain you will take it ground water will be going down because they're not doing rain water harvesting it's like you know taking water just imagine a water melon that pus nipala if you put a straw one star two star hundred star hundred stars uh, uh, in a single uh, water melon fruit they are also making borewell like that only so uh, my house if i am putting a borewell 450 uh, feet my neighbor will ask sir ninga evlo bore potinga சார் ஆடியோ கேட்கல சிவசங்கரன் சார் Don't please wait. Please, please. 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 Please, please.
So good evening. Are you able to hear me? Hi, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Ah, no problem. I request all the people kindly put your mic on mute, please. Ah, oh, okay, thank you. My slide is visible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, visible, sir. Thank you. Yeah, the clean air again. This again is going to create a lot of uh, issues. As I told you, uh, even uh, Delhi, what happened uh, during a couple of years back? You know, they have uh, stopped the vehicles uh, 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 transport. Public, I know, the, the government has compelled the people to go for a public transportation system. Okay, and uh, scrapping policy that's also made it uh, uh, particularly for uh, you know the vehicles which are 15 year old. So there will be commercial vehicles. And for a personal use vehicles, uh, uh, 20 years you have to scrap because you know the pollution level will be huge. Again, people are making a lot of criticism that uh, the middle class will be affected because they are not affordable to buy a car, new car. They cannot go for a new car by spending 6 lakhs, 8 lakh rupees. That's why they are using old cars. So that's also may create a lot of uh, economic problem and other things people are talking about. And this is an overall expenditure the pattern. Uh, by the government. You look at the pension, they are giving 1,89,328. I think the new pension scheme under the other thing they have made it. And uh, uh, the defense, uh, it's a huge, uh, look at that. Defense, we are spending 3,47,000 uh, lakh crore. And major subsidies, okay, both for the central and state government, uh, uh, 3,35,000 crore. And agriculture, uh, either. And look at that, the commerce and industry, it's quite interesting. The commerce and industry is very minimal, 34,623. And education, it's 93,000 uh, uh, 93, crore. And energy, I think uh, there is a need for a huge investment in energy because, uh, you know, the increasing consumption pattern of things there. And these are the other uh, thing, uh, how the government is making it. Look into that. The, uh, 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 the uh, home affairs, uh, interest, how much we are paying it, interest, look into that, it's a huge, again, 8 lakh, 8 lakh crore. Just imagine we are paying interest of uh, 8 lakh crore. Now, recently the government has uh, given a power to the state government to increase the uh, borrowings. It's unusual because central government, they never allow the state government to borrow uh, beyond certain limit. But this, uh, but uh, recently, uh, uh, in, the, in this budget, the central government has given a lot of liberalization for the state government to buy a lot of uh, tech from other people. Even best example, Tamil Nadu government already have uh, 5 lakh crore plus the debt. Now the government has applied for again 65,000 crore uh, additional debt from where they are going to pay. And experts are saying it, uh, people, uh, economics are saying it, uh, every person sitting in Tamil Nadu is having a debt of 78,000 per head. Now today, uh, each person in Tamil Nadu is having a 78,000 rupees debt on everybody's head. This is six people are saying it. So, uh, so this is a thing interest we are paying because government uh, uh, has made a lot of borrowings. You look at the maximum thing, almost uh, uh, 8 lakh uh, crore is given for interest. I think it's uh, not a healthy uh, symptoms. Okay, again, the, the scientific department, they are sending uh, uh, 30,640. And look at that social welfare, it's very minimal. Government is spending only 48,000 crore. This is the one view you will get it. And physical and financial capital infrastructure. Uh, here, a lot of incentive scheme, production linked incentive scheme that's also will be there. 1.97 lakh crore uh, will be distributed. And uh, uh, the uh, to you know, nurture the manufacturing global champions, it's very simple. The company, those who are started in India, having an opportunity to export and uh, 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 able to sell their products and services in global, they'll get a lot of assistance. And again, again, uh, 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 the, uh, the bring a scale and size in key sectors, you know, uh, just to push the small scale into medium and medium scale into uh, large scale, that's also thing that, and to provide jobs to the youth. This, is, this one they are mentioning in every budget, but the reality is we have to check how what is happening on the other side. And textile, Mega investment textile park scheme uh, in recently when recently uh, Prime Minister came to Coimbatore uh, to make it seven textile parks to be established in three years. That's also the merit in this budget. And national infrastructure the pipeline. 
Okay, that's also expanded 7,400 uh, projects. And new projects, uh, uh, 270 new projects worth of 1.110 lakh crore uh, completed. So these are the thing uh, statistics given in the budget by uh, finance minister. And three thirst area uh, funding for uh, 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 NIP, one generation of institutional structures, big uh, thirst on uh, monetize, uh, monetizing assets, enhancing the share of capital expenditure. These are the major three, I think. Okay, these are the uh, subdivisions. So due to past year time, I'm skipping this uh, one. And increase in the uh, capital budget. Okay, that's also, uh, they made it. Capital expenditure has been increased 5.5 uh, uh, lakh crore. Whereas it was earlier year, it was only 4.12 lakh crore. So uh, increase in the capital budget also. And roads and highway infrastructure, I think you'll be knowing it, the four-way roads, what you have from uh, Kanyamari to Madurai and up to uh, uh, Kashmir and covering all breadth and width of countries. That was initiated by the uh, uh, Congress uh, uh, government. Later it was uh, taken up by Vajpai in a positive way. And here is the person behind it, implemented and well uh, 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 connected with roads now in India. So here the one lakh, uh, 18,000, not one lakh crore is the highest ever outlay. So many say road, transport and highway that have uh, laid out. And uh, you'll be knowing it in Tamil Nadu, they given 1.30 lakh crore. Okay, when Tamil Nadu, just in Kerala, they have allocated 65,000 crore. In West Bengal, they given 25,000 crore. So these are the... Uh, uh, funds allocated for roads and highways infrastructure. These are other things. And again, there are uh, some uh, uh, environmental issues. And farmers are also opposing certain uh, road line. Uh, Bangalore Chennai Expressway, Delhi Mumbai Expressway. These are other things uh, uh, they are focusing on that. And variable message signboards. Uh, that's also kept here. And uh, a lot of uh, new lane uh, will be uh, Expressway will be uh, connected. That's also in the Chennai Salem Corridor which is having a high uh, uh, people sensitivity. You know, they want to have a six-way road, but people are not ready to give their land and other thing. A lot of issues are going on. Railway infrastructure, again, uh, like the roadway, uh, railway also getting a lot of uh, uh, funding for that. And they're going for it. And uh, uh, there is an announcement uh, by uh, 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 various projects like uh, broad guards, route kilometers, uh, RKM, they used to say, there will be electrification. Normal uh, train route will be electric, I mean, it will be converted as electric way route. So that's also planned. Uh, uh, they are planning for it. And 100% electrification broad gauge roads completed, it will be completed in 2023. So they want to have everything will be uh, electric train connectivity. It's not like ordinary uh, uh, train, uh, steam, or uh, coal based uh, thing, this is a traditional thing. Okay, these are other uh, schemes. And urban infrastructure, yes particularly on public bus transport and uh, innovative uh, public-private partnership. The triple P, you must remember, triple P model, public-private partnership. One, uh, this government is giving much more importance for 100% private one. The best example I can tell you is GMR Airport. Hyderabad, you'll find the GMR Airport. The GMR is the 100% private owned airport. So private participation is 100%. Uh, GMR is considered one of the world-class airports. Public-private partnership, I can give the best example. Public also will contribute and uh, uh, private also will contribute. Bangalore International Airport. So that this government is uh, focusing on that. So they want to uh, uh, make such type of 20,000 buses with the uh, public-private partnership model. Again, uh, uh, the 18,000 uh, crore uh, for new scheme, augment public bus transport, they are uh, planning for it. A total of seven, uh, not two kilometer of uh, conventional metro so that's also a planning and Chennai in the second phase also there. That they want to have it in 27 uh, cities. Metro Light and Metro Neo, these are the uh, new, uh, they will be, they'll be getting uh, funding uh, in Tire 1 and Tire 2 cities. And Parameter uh, is also identified one of the uh, uh, city in that, Tier 2 cities. And Kochi Metro Railway Phase, they are planning. Chennai Metro Railway Phase 2, I think you'll be knowing it. Uh, the uh, Prime Minister uh, came down to Chennai and inaugurated and Bangalore Metro Railway and Nagpur Metro Railway project phase two. This is all the thing. Okay. And power infrastructure has already only the household as well as industry consumption is increasing. So 139 gigawatts of install capacity and 1.41 lakh uh, circuit kilometer of transmission. That's also government is uh, planning for privatization of the power distribution. So that's also people are saying the electricity charges may go up.
and port shipping waterways. I think you'll be knowing it now. The ports are going to be in the hands of Brevet. The ports uh, handling will be given to the Brevet. Shipping uh, Corporation of India, that's also going to be privatized, which is the most uh, powerful one. And waterways, connectivity also, they're going to make it with that. Petroleum and natural gas, the 100 districts uh, to the city gas distribution network in the next three years, they want to make it. And uh, extension of uh, Ujwala scheme to cover one core uh, uh, more beneficiaries. I think this one, you'll be knowing it. Uh, the gas, Manium, that will be given for some other people. So again, new gas pipeline uh, is a uh, project in Jammu and Kashmir and other thing. And financial capital, a single securities market code to be evolved. This one, a lot of criticism also that people are making a lot of criticism for this one also. They're planning to have with it. And again, they want to have a regulated gold exchanges. And SEBI uh, uh, to be notified as a regulator of uh, warehousing development and regulatory authority. I think you'll be knowing the controller of capital EC was earlier. A lot of problem was there. Uh, during a reform, a control of capital issue was abolished. New body was enacted in the name of uh, Security Exchange Board of India. And capital infusion of 1,000 crore for Solar Energy Corporation of India and 1,500 crore for uh, Indian Renewable Energy. Okay, I think government might have spent a lot of money here, at least 10,000 crore or 20,000 crore in solar energy, because which is going to be, a, you know, uh, you know, uh, going to uh, cost effective under the other thing. We used to say renewable and non-renewable energy. So these are the things which will be coming under the renewable energy. You can, you know, sunlight is abundant in India. So here the government might have spent uh, 40,000, 50,000 crore, whereas the government has spent only 1,000 crore. And FBI in insurance sector, uh, uh, again, uh, uh, they want to increase uh, FBI limit from 49% to 74%, allow foreign ownership. And uh, people are uh, criticizing it. If you allow more than 50%, it may create a lot of problems in clients and other things. So it's not increase because 49 why the government has made it the foreign collaborations can be done with indians indian companies indian companies will have 51 percentage plus so automatically you'll have a control over uh, uh, the indian firm whereas if you allow 75 percent by the uh, fdi in that i think the ownership questions will be there and again assets reconstruction company a limited asset management companies to be set up that's also they are uh, looking to that and rehabilitation of public sector uh, uh, undertakings. So that was the thing they have made it. And deposit insurance, that's also they have created. I think I think the last uh, a couple of years, a couple of months back, I think uh, now you'll be knowing it, what only the money you are uh, having it as a deposit in the bank. The bank is liable to pay only one lakh. Suppose if you have uh, one crore uh, uh, deposit with the bank, suppose anything happened to the bank, the bank uh, uh, is uh, you'll get only one lakh. That assurance alone is available. So that's also creating a lot of, uh, you know, uh, so that now the government is moving to privatize the public sector uh, banks too. And company matters, yeah, a lot of things, uh, the limited liability partnership that was enacted in the year 2008, because in 2013, you know, a lot of uh, reforms were made, companies like 2013. So likely they created a lot of uh, uh, thing also. And uh, uh, reducing the uh, residency limit for Indian citizens to set up OPC, from 180 to days, you'll be knowing it. Uh, past preceding four years, they made it. So that one that was reduced to 120 days. And again, uh, allowing uh, non-resident Indian to incorporate to OPC in India, and to ensure the faster resolution in green. There are many things you can do that and focus on the MSME also. A disinvestment strategies. Uh, this is the thing. Uh, it's again a uh, biggest question now. One lakh seventy-five thousand crore. They want to sell. The public sector undertakings and to uh, generate money for the government here. So uh, they want to make it, uh, they can look into the Shipping Corporation of India, Container Corporation of India, IDBI Bank, uh, Pawan Hands, uh, Nila Chellis, but Niklam Limited. There are many things, uh, okay. These type of uh, public sector undertaking, they given a lot of growth for the economy. Because, you know, four decades, three decades, they have contributed like anything. Even Shipping Corporation is the most successful right now. But the government is planning for a disinvestment. What is the need for it? So these are the things uh, people are looking at. Other than IDBI bank, two public sector banks and one general insurance company to be privatized. And people are saying it, uh, even LIC, Life Insurance Corporation is also going for a suit. And uh, initial public offering, they are planning for uh, LIC. That's the first step to uh, sell away the Life Insurance Corporation because they are lending huge volume of money for it. Okay. 
and the government and financial reforms, uh, treasury single account. This is also the economists, they are making a lot of uh, criticism on it. They want to make an autonomous body because, you know, uh, like what happened in RBA, the Reserve Bank of India, transfer of reserve, uh, 175,000 crore reserve. So that type of thing, uh, 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 okay, that may create uh, issues in that. And inclusive development, let me take another uh, five to seven minutes to sum up. Agriculture, uh, they're saying it, they're saying it, uh, you know, the better pricing for agricultural uh, thing in there. There are again uh, some uh, uh, criticism for all three laws which are passed. And now the fight between uh, the farmers and uh, government is going on more than uh, more than uh, three months. Okay, 200 people uh, lost their life. Still the government is able to, uh, uh, not in a position to address uh, the issues there. And animal husbandry, dairy and fisheries. We used to say agricultural allied operation, the government is giving a lot of focus on that. Rural infrastructure fund, they want to enhance 40,000 crore. Okay. Again, micro irrigation fund, the 10,000 crore. Now the Bawani, they are planning to have one uh, tunnel there. And perishable products, they want to have operation green screen. Okay. Uh, this was the few things they made it for uh, fisheries. Investment to make a uh, fishing harbors and fish landing uh, centers, both on marine and inland. They are planning to do that. They want to, they have identified Kochi, Chennai, Visa, Patinam, uh, Prati, Pand, Patikar. Uh, so to be developed hubs for economic activity. And migrant workers and laborers, this, this has created a lot of, uh, you know, uh, focus during COVID-19. And people, uh, the migrant laborers started moving to the native places. I think most of the people went by walk. So they, they want to have one ration, one ration card scheme for beneficiary to claim the rations anywhere in the country. And Tamil Nadu, uh, Tamil Nadu government is the first one to, uh, you know, sign in that. Though other states are not ready to give such type of thing because, you know, yeah, it may dominate. Suppose uh, if you take states like Tamil Nadu, the migrant laborers uh, will be dominating in that state. That's why. Okay, I think uh, the um, 32 states and uh, union territories, they, they want to uh, get into that. They have made it to that. And financial inclusion uh, is uh, they want under the uh, uh, stand up Indian scheme, uh, stand up Indian scheme for ACST and women uh, uh, and uh, margin money requirements reduction is 15 percent. If you want to start a business, you, you have only 15 percent, remaining 85 percent, the funding will be given. MSME sector, uh, 15,700 crore was allocated. And human capital, uh, 15,000 schools will be strengthened and uh, 100 new uh, SANIC schools to be set up with a partnership with the NGOs and private schools. Higher education, uh, okay, what where we study right now. So they want to have four separate vehicles for uh, standard setting, accreditation, regulation, and funding. So they want to establish the Higher Education Commission of India. Right now we have UG, UGC, uh, uh, AACT, and the other thing that may be collaborated. They want to have Higher Education Commission and the other thing. And Central University to come up, uh, uh, okay, and uh, they want to uh, a blue grant to implement the. Uh, 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 the structure that to cover all government colleges, universities in nine cities too. And ACST, uh, they want to have a special uh, welfare measures and 750 uh, egg labor model. That's also again for residential schools and tribal areas where the uh, where they have uh, uh, given 38 crores. Skilling, uh, as per the part of uh, skilling, 3,000 crore uh, realignment of existing national apprenticeship training schemes towards post-education apprenticeship training, Skill India Development. It was launched, it's going on. The training, uh, inter-training program uh, with the Japan-based collaborative thing in that. And innovation and R&D, as I already told you, even uh, now uh, commercial launch of uh, rockets, is to say the space centers, okay, where the PSLV and other things are made. Uh, our, uh, we are equipped in uh, space research and other thing and innovation. And so 50,000 crore uh, is allocated. And again, deep ocean mission uh, survey exploration, uh, just to find the oil resources, gas resources, and other thing, 4,000 crore was allocated. And minimum government, this is the last uh, uh, segment, minimum government and maximum government, as I already told you, a measure is being undertaken to bring reforms in uh, tribunal to ensure speedy justice. And the 3,768 crore was allocated to first digital census in the history of India. They want to make a digital uh, uh, thing. Even this year, the budget was launched digitally. Even opposite parties made a criticism. Even a single piece of paper was not given. Even a single copy was not given. Made a digital. So all the budget statistics, only oral presentation. And the digital, uh, they have done it. Okay. And 1,000 crore for the welfare of uh, tea workers, particularly for the women and other thing, it was given for it. Okay. 
and net borrowing, borrowing of the states, uh, states are allowed to make 4% of uh, GSDP for the year 2021 in that. So, uh, earlier on the 100 rupees, now, now they can go for a, uh, 104. So, it will increase the debt burden of these states. So, these are the other uh, thing. A tax proposal, uh, they have uh, both direct and indirect taxes. And filing taxes, uh, filing taxes, they made a thing in that. It details the capital gains from district securities, dividend income, interest from bonds, etc., to be pre-filled in returns. Earlier, the provision was not there. And relief to small uh, trust and the other thing they are given, a lot of relaxation is given. Exemption limit of annual uh, receipt revised from 1 crore to 5 crore for small charitable trusts running schools and hospitals. So that's also they are given. Labor welfare, that's also given the prime motive. And capital gain exemption for investment in startups extended till 31st March 2022. So anybody is making investment in startups, they will get a capital uh, uh, exemption and other thing. And the uh, tax holidays and other thing. That's also uh, uh, extended for one more year. If any person is going for a startup, no need to pay the tax for another year. So we used to say tax holidays and other thing. Yeah, this uh, finance slide I want to make it for our students. Most important word you must have it ask. If you want to come up in your life, okay, lot of uh, challenges are happening and other thing. But if you want to come up in your life, you must uh, you must ask the word. You must, you must use the word ask. A stands for attitude. You must have a positive attitude. Okay, wherever uh, you start your journey, but you must give uh, much more focus on your career. What do you want to be after five years? What do you want to be after 10 years? What do you want to be after 15 years? You must develop your skill. Knowledge is knowing. By listening to uh, lectures like this, attending the classes, reading the books, you can get knowledge. But skill is doing. Knowledge, just watching a cricket and knowing, okay, this player is good in bowling, batting, and that's a knowledge. Skill is doing. Suppose Virat Kohli is making a cover drive. Watching Virat Kohli is knowing, okay, it's knowledge. And going to the ground and playing the same type of uh, shot. Okay, suppose Hartik uh, um, Pandya is hitting uh, bouncer delivery to the uh, country. So automatically, cow corner. So automatically, you must have that habit of uh, practicing it. So skill is doing. So most of the people may say that, sir, I need a luck. So if you ask me, I will say luck is nothing but preparedness. How you prepare yourself and how you, uh, how you turn your opportunity uh, by utilizing your preparedness. And people may say that, uh, okay, I completed my race. It's not like that. Life is like a marathon. You may think that it's like a 100 meter race. No, life is like a marathon. You have to, you have to win every day. Rohit Sharma cannot, cannot satisfy with 164 in one match. Next match, okay, he has to perform again. He has to score 100 runs. He cannot say, I said I have scored 164 runs. It's every day you have to win. So, success is not being first always. Being better than yesterday. Success na ninge epe mo monna di varadu kadiya. But netra kenda pani ningla the kaatlo oru person ungla le jasti panna mudhe na that call success. So this is the graph. Okay, even for a government, both for the central government, state government, you take entrepreneurs, startups, big firm, you take individual, your faculty, me, students, the principal, all the people. Okay, uh, okay, we must get a clear idea. Success is not like a straight upward curve. Really, okay, it'll have a lot of ups and downs. So you must really understand that. So my sincere thanks for organizing committee members, for inviting me, for giving a wonderful chance to interact with you, to make a small piece of presentation about the impact of budget. And a special mention here for uh, uh, Santi Makeshwari ma'am, for your patient caring and your opening presidential address. I really enjoyed your uh, presidential address. Thank and, you, sir. Uh, uh, and uh, in the options, I want to mention the Venkata Chalabadi, sir, a person, uh, again, a well-known personality for me. Uh, you know, he served for uh, long years with PSZ uh, and PKR and a uh, uh, very good uh, uh, advisor for me, a mentor. And uh, uh, my sincere thanks for uh, uh, Socrates, sir, a dynamic person, upcoming professor. I want to see him with a lot of growth, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, he's having a lot of wonderful uh, talent person. Um, so, uh, my sincere thanks to the faculty team and uh, my budding uh, uh, students, uh, budding managers, budding uh, uh, 
Prime Minister putting politicians, uh, putting uh, uh, technocrats, uh, bankers and other things. I wish you great success. God bless you, uh, my child. Okay, uh, I wish all the students to come up in your life. Okay, with the uh, flying colors. All the very best. Thank you. Once again, I thank everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Professor. That was very nice and wonderful and uh, I really very happy to share this program with you. I thank you for your wonderful time spending with us. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your ardent interest. So happy to have you in our home and hope you feel it is your own. The essence of all good, beautiful art is gratitude. Now I welcome Mr. P. Tenerus, who is third year PCOM PA, to present a word of thanks on behalf of us. Good evening to all. I deem it a great honor and privilege to propose the word of thanks on this memorable occasion. First and foremost, I thank our special guest, Dr. Karpasami Ramanathan, Professor and internationally accredited trainer, CEO, who despite his busy schedule has found time to grace this occasion. Thank you, sir. I would like to thank you our principal, Dr. Innar Santi Mageshwari, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. And we are thank grateful you. to the director, Dr. G. Vinkara Chalapati, sir. Thank you, sir. I thank our well-wisher and head of the department, Mr. R. Sagrati, sir, for his supporting and guidance. Thank you, sir. Thank and you. I would like to thank our department staffs Mrs. S. Manjula, ma'am, Dr. T. Sriranga Nachiyar, ma'am, and Dr. K. Mariyapan, sir. Thank you, ma'am, and sir. Thank you. Students, okay? Thank you for my uh, brothers and sisters and my friends. Thank you. Thank you, Tenerife, for your convivial vote of thanks. Thank you, student. Thank you for the wonderful session in this program. On behalf of our department, I thank our chief guest and our principal and also to all of you. Thank you very much for your kind cooperation. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, thank you.